The book that I'm choosing to do is called Clara in Senior Frog. It was written by Campbell Greslin and illustrated by Ryan Sanchez. Its genre is children's book and the theme is finding your passion and or your creativity. The excerpt I'm choosing to read comes from the first page. Watching from the shadows, I see Mama being sawed in half. Her head sticks out of a box. The saw screeches as it cuts. A woman screams. Mama smiles. I yawn. The illustration that I'm choosing to use comes later in the book. I really liked uh, the colors and the brightness, and I just really thought that that made the pictures really come alive and jump out. The artist used oils, oil pastels, and I think that he did a really nice job. So the three criteria for this book to be culturally relevant is it develops connections by choosing literature that students can see themselves in and connect to aesthetically. I think children can see themselves as the main character in this book or see themselves as an artist or as a child. Um, the second one is it generalizes the use of multicultural literature throughout the curriculum by including text and activities. You can relate this to social studies, music, art, and ma the math standards. And I think that you can tie this to studying about Mexico and their art history and introducing them to a popular Mexican art called Albrijes. And the third is read daily in students' native language via small group, technology-assisted reading, or parent volunteer reading. And I think that after reading this book, you can make it a center or allow students to read it in their free time or even take it home to have their parents read with them. The standard that I picked is from third grade, and it's determine the meaning of words and phrases as they are used in a text. So you're going to have a lot of students in your classroom who might not be familiar with Spanish words, and I think that they could use context clues in the paragraphs and even in the illustrations to see if they know what um, those words mean. And in the front of this book, there's a dictionary for all of the Spanish words that are being used. My objective would be that students will be able to use context clues effectively. From this, I want my students to learn that about context clues and that they can figure out what unfamiliar words or phrases mean. Um, I could begin this assignment by using the passage, which is Billy's Darpled Dink. That way, the students' brains will be engaged and I can model for them the types of strategies that I want them to be able to use. And like I said before, we can use context clues in the sentences and again in the illustrations.